Welcome guys, direct from Rio de Janeiro downtown in Praça Quins. I'm here to check out one of the oldest, if not the oldest, antiquities and collections fair in Latin America here in the downtown of Rio de Janeiro. So let's check out what they've got here. Join me. got some real old stuff that I don't know if you can even use it but really cool like old toys here I forgot to mention as well that I have a few things that I'm gonna give away to somebody that could possibly uh, use to sell and uh, yeah, nothing really that special. I'll show you guys what it is after. Look what I just found. A spot with old cameras and projectors. Quite the difference. I had one of these before. <laughs> Camcorder. I've actually seen people do vlogs. I guess they were like the very beginning, the beginnings of vloggers. And people have posted. Can you imagine someone running around the town with this? Doing a vlog? <laughs> Look at that. Do you want that in your house? A lot of different vases and things like that. We've also got a section where they're selling a lot of clothes. So if you need like used clothes, vintage, vintage clothes, you'll find it here at this fair. Also, I have to mention that it runs from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. every Saturday. And it's been going on for 54 years, since its 54th year. Collectible toys, if you guys want. I remember G.I. Joe. <laughs> Collectible toys. <laughs> wow, Star Wars. Prices are like 300 reais for one for one action figure. I think this is from the 90s or early 2000s. 600 reais for the Luke Skywalker. Which is about what? $150 more or less. Ele começou como? Na época. Ela começou no final dos anos 70, né? Uh -huh. No final dos anos 70, com uma feira que chama Feira do Rolo, que era muita coisa de troca. Ah, ok. Aí depois ela foi mais ou menos evoluindo para uma feira tipo de. de, de 
antiguidade, que hoje em dia ainda é, o nome é Feira de Antiguidade da Nossa Crise, só que ela foi diversificando, não é só coisa de antiguidade, nós mesmo trabalhando com action figure, coisa nova, coisa antiga, né? E como eu falei, virou tipo free market, né? Então, um pouco de tudo. Hoje você acha de antiguidade, acha vinil, acha quadrinho, acha colecionável, brechó. Né, roupa, né, de brechó. É, qualquer é coisa. É. Para todos os gostos, para todos os preços. Ah, qual é o seu nome? Meu nome é Alexandre. Obrigado, ah, Alexandre. Nada. Obrigado, Alexandre. Deixa um aqui. Pode pegar ali, ó. O Vou tomar aqui tá? também. Ah, tá, ah, o cartão. Tá, tá, tem loja física, tá? Então não sabe daqui. Ah, sim, sim. Tem uma loja no Flamengo, pode ter os contatos dele ali também. Obrigado, hein? Né? Marcador de. Show. Serve pro cara marcar a página e não perder as notas. Tá. Maravilha. Vamos lá, Vinícius. Vou somar aqui. Ah, tem muito aqui, ó. Esses do Batman ali dos anos 90, tá vendo? Muitos aí são raros, alguns. Eu lembro desse. Rare items. E coisas mais recentes também. É. Esse da Galuba dos anos 90 são difíceis também de Star Wars, né? Aí tem as coisas mais recentes, Super Powers mais novos. Ah, Interessante. Os quadrinhos, a gente tem coisa antiga, coisa nova. Como eu falei, é uma, é uma feira, uma feira bem diversificada. É. Né? A gente também trabalha com a Show. A lot of books. If you guys are interested in books. So really nice guys that I spoke to about the fair. I have like everything here. I think it was an evolving situation where this fair, when it became a fair in the first place, and then you know now it's like it's exploded. It's huge. She said it wasn't that it wasn't that big before. Who remembers these video games? Nintendo 64, NES. Sega. Wow. Real nostalgic feel of this uh, at this fair. A lot of PS3, wow, PS3 games already here. Really cool. Old Star Wars figures. I had these figures here as a child. It's really a cool uh, feeling to see a lot of these old things from uh, from childhood, you know, like video games and things like that. I'm sure if you're looking for some kind of thing, if you're in here in Rio and, you know, not sure if you want to take any uh, junk video, check this out. More video game consoles. N64, Mega Drive. Já tinha um esperando, do outro lado, que ele tava no telefone. Ah, tinha um no telefone e o outro já... É, um já tinha Aí eles iam... Let's see what else we can find. If you're a Hot Wheels fan... Wow. More camera gear here. What that? CDs or actually discs. Records, I should say. More records in here. You really can get lost in the middle of all this stuff, you know, especially if you're somewhat of a nostalgic person. Let's keep going. More figures there. 
lots of collectible toys. Just so much stuff, guys, so much stuff. Jewelry, necklaces, all kinds of stuff. Old figurines. World Cup figurines. One thing that the guy mentioned to me is that uh, they have to pay 80 reais to book a spot here. So once a week they pay 80 reais for seven hours, which is pretty worth it. I gotta, I gotta show you this, guys. How many of you remember this? From the 80s. <laughs> Now that's one of the ultimate nostalgic feelings was that. I had that as a child. Really cool. If you're looking for floor rugs, there you go. This place really does have it all. <laughs> you can even have a have a meal here if you want. And here's the food section. Well, past here, I should say. Yeah, here we go. Here's the food section. You can have something to eat over here. Yeah, you can't have a fair that'll last seven hours without some food. Keep the buyers hungry, or keep the buyers fed, I should say. There's some coins here. They're selling them all rare coins. More clothes over there. More camera gear there. It's never ending here. It's just constant stuff for sale. And I guarantee you, if you don't find, if you're looking for some specific, you know, antique item, then you're never going to find it if you can't find it here. Unbelievable. I'm going to head to this other part, which it seems like it's an un unofficial part of the fair. I don't know if they're like... Um, homeless people selling stuff, but that's where I'm going to go give uh, the items to watch. They also have arts and crafts made of wood. So I'm going to go over there and donate the stuff that I have. Crazy how much stuff is here. And they even, when they don't have a space for it, they put it on the floor and there's more video game stuff here. More cameras. Unbelievable. So I'm just heading over to this other little fair. I think it just doesn't, it's not 
connected, but they do it on the same day because they know a lot of people get over, come over here. Again, quite a bit of stuff. I don't know if it's the more de the desirable stuff. We'll take a look. I'm gonna give away what I have here to somebody who could possibly sell and make money off. It's just a pair of shoes and other little, little electronic things. I don't know, nothing really expensive. I think I see someone that will take the shoes, hopefully. A couple of people over here. But where is this person? Hola, boa tarde. Olha, tem esses sapatos que talvez você pode usar para vender. Eu não tô comprando nada não, tá? Não, não precisa comprar, é de graça. Ah, Só para vender, graça. porque ah, não tá. tem ah. ninguém que pode usar. Ah, tá, tá, tá bom? Boa de vender, tá? Tá, valeu, obrigado. Nada. Agora vai ter um eletrônico. Ah, tá barato, ó. Preciso um bom pra levar agora. Amigo, consegue vender isso? Eu não tô vendendo. É de graça. Ah, é não preciso. Ah, é, tá? Nada, boas vendas. So I found two people to accept a couple items. Things that really I, you know, stuff accumulated. One last thing, a phone phone case. Maybe we'll find someone to take it for iPhone. So here's what basically people sell here. My theory is that you likely won't find something that you'll be able to use, but if you do, it's going to be something like extra, extraordinary, because in these spots, you never know what you can find, you know? I can't see anyone selling uh, phone accessories or anything like that. It is, it is blistering hot out here too. So most of these people don't even have somewhere to get out of the sun. Let's take a look over there. Old TVs. Yeah, it's really, really hot day here. This guy has a lot of different things. Botage. I'm gonna head back to the main fair, but I'm gonna get a drink of something because it's blistering hot out here. So come check out this fair. I mean, especially the main one. <laughs> I don't know if you'll find anything here, like I mentioned, but. So let's head out to back over there. All right, so I got a refreshment. I'm heading over to the main fair. And I asked the lady at the, the juice vendor um, if this is part of that, that one over there. And she's like, well, kind of. What normally happens is the people who are selling stuff over there come over here and buy and then sell at their, at their tent or at their booth. So it kind of makes sense. They probably buy for cheap here and then sell it for a little bit more or something like that. I get it, you know, whatever. <laughs> kind of interesting. So let's head over there to finalize the video. Really cool to check this out. So let's keep going. Okay, well I've seen pretty much the whole fair. I didn't film it all because it's just so much to see. But my my assessment it's worth checking out. Come spend like you know an hour or two here. Um, I'm not gonna buy anything because I'm 
quite a minimalist, but uh, yeah, you probably find something you're looking for or something you don't expect to find here. Definitely worth checking out. Let's keep walking through here. So this concludes the video for today guys. My final thoughts are come check it out. It's my first time here so I kind of didn't expect to find all kinds of cool things from from my childhood and whatnot. You know, it's a very nostalgic feeling. Um, yeah, really really cool. And it seems like most of the guys selling stuff are really nice guys, so highly recommend it. Come check out the fair, guys. Until the next video, take care.